Middleburg, Virginia seems to have more than its fair share of history, horse farms, and wineries too. In this case, all three are in the same location. This is Boxwood Winery, a 16-acre vineyard that's located on a horse farm that's been here since the 18th century. Now the farm is a National Historic Landmark, but the wine facilities are relatively new. Much like the property itself, the approach to winemaking here is a mix of tradition and technology. First of all, it's all my dad's idea. I like to say he's a wine lover, a wine collector, so from the get-go he wanted to get into the wine industry. We thought, you know, why can't we do this here at Boxwood? So we hired Lucy Morton, who's a viticultural consultant internationally recognized, and uh, Lucy cited a, to start with, a 16-acre vineyard, and because my father wanted to make red wines, she recommended the red Bordeaux varietals. Josh Girard is the winemaker. Our wines are modeled after the Bordeaux region. Um, our Boxwood wine is typically a blend of Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon and uh, Petit Verdot. Uh, the topiary is Cabernet Franc and Merlot. And the trellis is the barrels that we felt that didn't really blend well into our top two, the topiary and boxwood. After spending time making wine in New Zealand, the West Coast, and Pennsylvania, Josh explains why he came here. I think there's a lot of great potential down here. Uh, it's, it's all in the vineyard, I mean it takes it's, uh, a lot of care, a lot of labor to get the vineyard up to standard, but once we do, they produce uh, just world-class grapes, um, and that's what we're doing here at Boxwood. You can spend some time with a glass of wine and some snacks in the winemaking facilities, or out on the quiet grounds just enjoying the view. The winery has two other satellite locations, one in Reston, Virginia, and one in National Harbor, Maryland. They also host events during the prestigious Middleburg Film Festival. You will get white pepper dryers. Here's some fruit content on the finish, but again, very complex spice-based wine. Despite the recent growth, the long-term plan for Boxwood is to take a boutique approach, keeping quantities low and quality high. What's important is that the face behind Boxwood always remains the family.